Hey, 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 is it just me? Or do the updates that DJI made to DJI Go 4.3.2 that was released for iOS today not work? Stick around and let's talk a little bit more about it. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around. Today is Tuesday, September 18th, and DJI just released the new version of DJI Go 4 for updates for the Mavic 2 for version 4.3.2. Now, it's only been released for iOS as far as I can see right now. I'm sure, you know, as normal with DJI updates, they generally do iOS first, and then in the following days or weeks, they'll release for Android. So I'm sure Android's coming soon. However, from what I can see, and I know I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed or the brightest star in the sky or whatever you want to call it, but... I honestly couldn't get any of these to work. So first off, number one, adds a new function where you can adjust the flight speed in hyperlapse mode to shoot a video with different rhythms, available on both Mavic 2 Pro and Mavic 2 Zoom. All right, so there is a new feature in DJI Go 4. When you do hyperlapse, there is now a speed setting in there. But for the life of me, I couldn't get it to work. I couldn't change it. So I click on it and it shows what looks like it might be like a slider bar or something. I kind of... I, I mean, I touched it in ways you shouldn't touch things, and uh, it, I, I just couldn't get it to change, to be honest with you. It was a 1.1. I slid it around. I moved it. I tried doing everything I could, but I couldn't figure it out. Please, if you figured it out, leave me comments down below. Let everybody else know how does this actually work. So I, I was going to reach out to DJI Online Support, but of course, they're only open until about 5 p.m., and it's too late to be able to try that out. I couldn't get it to work. So... On the speed, it actually shows up. So with hyperlapse, you have, what, four different methods. You've got free, you've got circle, you've got course lock, and you've got waypoint. In free mode, there is an option that, that you can set what it is, but I couldn't change it, right? And on the screen, what it says is something about the maximum speed you can move when you move the stick to its limits. I couldn't change it. I couldn't change that update. And then when I did do free and I actually ran a hyperlapse, even though it was still saying 1.1 when the settings were set up, you can see in the screen below, I was able to go three miles an hour, two miles an hour. It was actually going definitely faster than what the setting was set when I was setting up the free hyperlapse. So it obviously didn't seem to work. And again, Maybe I'm just not, again, not the sharpest tool in the shed or the brightest star in the sky or pick your, you know, saying, uh, but I couldn't get it to work. The other modes in terms of like course lock, which is one that I use a lot and circle, I, I, I just couldn't get it. I couldn't change it. I, so I don't know. So if you know, if you figured it out, what am I missing? Leave me a comment down below. Item number two adds an auxiliary frame in hyperlapse mode where you can enable from camera settings hyperlapse video frame to check the video cropping size available on both Mavic 2 Pro and Mavic 2 Zoom. To be honest with you, I couldn't find this to save my life. Maybe it's in there, and I'm sure it probably is in there, in there but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I looked in the camera settings all over. There's, you know, once you go into the camera settings, there's really kind of three pages of stuff, right? The first is where you set, you know, auto manual, the ISO, uh, aperture, shutter speed, that stuff. Next page is, you know, white balance, and there's a whole bunch of stuff. And then there's a third page, a whole bunch of settings. I seriously just couldn't find this. So again, what am I missing? Am I, am I seriously just missing it? Is it right there in front of me? Is that the proverbial snake about to bite me? Or is it just not there? So let me know in the comments down below. Item number three, I did find this one. So this one is really easy to find. So when, once you're in D log M color mode on the screen, on the flight mode, on the screen, right next to where you choose the autofocus, manual focus, there's a little button there. You press it and the button changes, but I couldn't tell that it was actually doing anything. On the display, the live view of the video just looked the same, just like it looks in D log M, you know, a little washed out. Uh, I assume that by pressing that button and turning it on that I would get, you know, more vibrant colors, but that didn't seem to be the case. So again, am I misunderstanding this? Uh, 
or is it just not working? Those are the three features that they say, and those are all, of course, for the Mavic 2. There are two specific items that they list under optimizations, and those are, number one, improves the stability of functions such as password retrieve and personal info checking. Uh, yeah, sure, I don't, yeah, okay. And then number two, optimizes some features for a better user experience. So, you know, nice and detailed there. Again, I don't know what that is. I didn't necessarily notice anything. But having said that, uh, I flew my Mavic 2. I flew it around. I did, you know, other than these features, you know, I didn't do a thorough, you know, comprehensive test. But just, you know, kind of flying around, doing some hyperlapses, doing some you know, normal video recording, everything seemed to work. And oh, by the way, I have upgraded to iOS 12. This seems to work just fine on iOS 12, uh, which was just released yesterday, I think. I updated my uh, iPhone to iOS 12 yesterday. Seems to be good. I haven't had any problems so far. So I think uh, you're probably safe to go ahead and upgrade, but these new features that are here in listed as features in 4.3.2, I, I can't find them. Let me know what you think. Uh, does iOS 12 work for you? Does 4.3.2 and these three new features work for you? Did you run into any other problems or did you find anything else that DJI added in that isn't listed in here? Let us know, share with the group, and I hope to see you on another video soon. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like, leave me some comments, and I'll catch you on another video very soon. Ciao.